Hey, George Graff is here at one of the many locations accepting Coats for Coats for Kids. You know, winters are cold in Northeast Wisconsin, and that's why we're calling on you to help out. Donate a new or gently used coat to Coats for Kids to help keep kids in our community warm. Coats for Kids was able to help nearly 13,000 kids last year. Remember, it's never too early to donate. We know winter is on the way, and we need your help once again. So make a donation to one of these locations. Give the gift of warmth and give to Coats for Kids. Well, the annual Packers Coats for Kids collection going on this Sunday at the game at Lambeau Field. Kristen Allen's live in Lambeau, outside Lambeau this morning. Tell us how you can help out if you're going to the game. Hey, Kevin, good morning. That's right. The Packers are hoping to score big for the Salvation Army of Brown County during Sunday's game. If you're heading to the game, all you have to do is look for a drop off box like this one here. They'll be at 11 different locations surrounding Lambeau Field on the sidewalk this year and at the entrances like here at Armed Forces Drive. They won't be in the parking lot this year because of new NFL policy, but all you have to do is look for one of these boxes. You can drop your new or gently used coat inside and it will help keep a child warm this winter. Now, if you don't have a a coat to donate. You can also donate some cash. They wouldn't turn that down because this is their biggest cash fundraiser of for, of their campaign. Last year, nearly $17,000 was donated and over 300 coats. This is kind of how it works. The Salvation Army gives one new coat to each family and the rest are gently used. The money that is donated like during the drive on Sunday allows staff to go and buy new coats to make sure there are enough of those new coats to go around to the families and a variety of coats are needed. At this point, we really need coats of all sizes and please remember coats for kids means those high school kids as well. Um, I noticed that we're getting more girls coats coming in right now than boys and that's what we really ran out of last year. So boys coats are definitely going to be in demand in the last couple weeks of the collection. And when you're donating your coat on Sunday, make sure you look for volunteers from Action 2 News. A couple of us will be out here, including our Jenny Curtis. So make sure you come and say hello. And also don't forget that this is also a regional campaign. It's not just for Brown County. So the Salvation Army is in Manitowoc County and the Fox Cities and Marinette County. They also need donations of new and gently used coats and cash as well. And you can do that at any of their locations. Reporting live in Green Bay, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News. So as Kristen said, if you can't make it to the game, there are lots of places all around Northeast Wisconsin to drop off a coat or hat or scarf or mittens. And that list of spots is WBAY.com slash coats. And if you don't have a kid's coat to donate, well, you can still donate a hat, scarves, mittens or gloves, new or gently used again to those many, many drop off sites at WBAY.com. Look them up. Today, thousands of coats getting picked up, packed up, I should say, and delivered to the Croc Center in Green Bay. Yeah, we've been telling you about the collection for about a month now. The Salvation Army is getting ready to give out all those coats this weekend. Chris Allen joining us live this morning to tell us about the final preparations. Good morning. Good morning. You can see those coats are stacked here behind me nearly as tall as I am and they're getting ready to be distributed to the Croc Center tomorrow as you mentioned so that they can be uh, delivered to the kids on Saturday and this morning I'm joined by Major Bob Mueller. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's happening today with all these coats. Well, today you see thousands of jackets um, staged for getting moved into semi-trucks. We have students from West Academy coming in, in less than two hours, and they will be loading these trucks. And then tonight they will be transferred to the Salvation Army Croc Center, unloaded, and tomorrow we begin um, hanging the jackets on racks and uh, beginning the, the process of dist distribution. And there is quite a process we talked about before, all the moving parts to kind of get this organized. So what happens to the coats once you pick them up from all the collection sites, you know, before you get them all bagged up and ready to go here? Well, when the coats arrive, uh, they, they've been uh, laundered, clean, and they're fresh and um, gonna, ready for um, delivery to the, the children in need. And tell us a little bit about what happens at the distribution on Saturday. Well, we'll have uh, hundreds of volunteers showing up on Saturday to help accompany families and help them to choose and find the right size and the right fit for, for their children. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. And the Salvation Army can always use more volunteers to help out with the distribution and other things happening around this time of year as well. So if you want more information on that, just go to our website, WBAY.com. Reporting live in Green Bay, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News. More than 3,000 Green Bay families in need of coats, 
will be warm this winter thanks to the Salvation Army's 2016 Coats for Kids campaign. The big distribution day <clears throat> for the greater Green Bay area was today at the Croc Community Center. Pre-registered families had a chance to choose from hundreds of coats with the help of volunteers. Our own Emily Matasek was out there volunteering today. This is the 29th year for this campaign and families who take part in it say they are grateful to have this as an option. We've used the program for, you know, multiple years and every time that we do come, it's very welcoming, it's very comfortable, it's um, a nice environment to come to. If your child is in need of a coat, you can contact Salvation Army. They will provide you with a voucher to get a coat at one of the area stores.